Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Wei Li Lu, and I'm very glad to be invited to speak in this uh, uh, very important workshop. And uh, I'm, I'm very glad we can we have uh, uh, almost all the, the the smartphone vendors and engineers, scientists, uh, experts come together this, uh, today in Cupertino, California. And I appreciate the people coming from the major uh, 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 smartphone vendors uh, uh, right now in the Silicon Valley. Uh, my topic is talking about the next generation smartphone architecture and I, uh, I'm going to t uh, discuss about the, the next generation 4G uh, system architecture of the uh, smartphone devices including iPhone, iHand and the Blackberry and also the Palm, uh, Nokia, Samsung and other uh, Microsoft, uh, Google's there. So my first issue we're talking about uh, what's the, the true 4G phone requirements. I think the first issue is service oriented mobility platform rather than wireless standards specific platform. I think it's very important because in the future we have to support different standards or different uh, service or uh, 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 applications. So we need a, a multiple wireless standards for the for the for you know, for the, for, uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the smartphone. And as I say, as I always say, uh, no single wireless standards can provide both broadband high speed transmission and seamless mobility. So if you want to support the broadband high speed transmission and seamless mobility, you have to use multiple wireless standards in one common platform. And uh, that's the issue. So, so that's the first issue. The second issue, we're talking about high spectrum utilization efficiency. Spectrum efficiency is most, most important in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the mobile phone. Uh, because it's wise. So, so uh, special efficient, as I say, in, in, in the future, we have to use in, converge the, the multiple standards in one platform, in one devices. So special, uh, we have to use in the spectrum dynamically, uh, uh, wisely, and other, we have to share the spectrum. So in order to share the spectrum, we have to use in, we have to make sure the system and the transmission architecture is open. Otherwise, if the transmission uh, uh, system, the architecture is closed, then we just couple it together, uh, uh, then that performance is very low, very, very low. So, so that's the issue. And the uh, third issue we're talking about uh, uh, enhance the security feature. I mean, security is very important in the future. We have to support multiple multimedia service, or whatever should there. We have we have to use in the handphone uh, devices for the for the for the ID, for the passport, for the security, for the uh, uh, medical. Whatever. So security is very important issue. And the first, the last issue is the open wireless interface. As I say, if you want to support multiple standards in one platform, you have to make sure the architecture, the system architecture is is, is open. Otherwise, is 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 very. Is the problem is very low. It's a lot of problem. So all this issue, we have to rely on open wireless architecture, architecture technologies. So the next, we talk about what's OWA, what's open wireless architecture. Uh, open wireless architecture basically is a middle layer uh, between the uh, the physical layer, the wireless physical layer, which is radio, radio transmission technology (RTT), and also the OS and the application layer. So when we put it, when we put the OW layer between this OS and RTT, then we can support di multiple different wireless standards and also support multiple uh, OS uh, uh, by different parameters only. So in the future, when the user changes the wireless uh, standards, you don't have to change the device, just change the, the, uh, the, the parameters. And then we can put the parameters in the external, external memory card or SIM card. Then the user can just by changing the SIM card, they can change the OS, can change the, the standards. So that's basically the OW uh, layer. And then what's OW layer? Actually, OW is just the virtualization layer uh, uh, sitting between the transmission level and also system level. So about the system level, we can support uh, user levels with different uh, OS. Uh, uh, and then below the uh, transmission level, we can support a different RTT, uh, GSM, 3G, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, whatever, support it. So basically, OW virtualization layer just map different RTT into different parameters, but still on the common hardware platform. And the other size, uh, the other ways we map a different OS into different parameters, but it's still based on, on the on, 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 on the same pipe, OS pipe. So that's in the OW baseband, uh, OW virtualization layer. And how to implement it? Uh, basically, we can using uh, one chip, OW baseband chip, to implement all this uh, signal processing. And then, for example, we can uh, 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 we have multiple RTTs, uh, radio transmission, multiple wireless standards. Then we uh, go to the the wireless adaptation and the virtualization sub-layer, then we can map into different open interface parameters and also signal. And then we continue to the OW baseband and procession sub-layer, then we can, we can connect to the host OS, principal OS, also can support the visitor supplementary OS by virtual machine. And on the left side, we can move a many, many procession, signal procession into the external mem memory card, we call portable air interface modules or SIM card. Uh, so in the future, SIM card is not just bring the user information. All can can support it. Also can support the different standards. That's everything. Signal procession. We put it one 
one, one chip, we call old W baseband chip. We're already working with the partners there, the chips are already available. Uh, so so the old, that's the old W virtualization layer uh, put into one chipset. Okay. And then uh, inside this uh, 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 open baseband position sublayer, then basically, as I say, is uh, OW just map different wireless standards into different parameters there. So how to map into different open interface parameters there? This picture tell you, I mean, this is already published in IEEE Communication Magazine, IEEE Magazine journals for a long time. So basically we have two accelerators. One is in charge of the OCM, Open Computing Machine, which is in charge of the wireless algorithm, uh, 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 like uh, moderation coding. Uh, 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 equalization, whatever. Uh, the other one, accelerator, is open codes in charge of different parameters, uh, different uh, protocols and uh, algorithms. So this, the, the basically the baseband procession. And also, as I say, uh, uh, in the future, the 4G, we, we are going to converge the fixed wireless mobile, converge into one platform. So uh, uh, we have to converge the office phone, home phone, and, and, and the mobile phone into one same home phone. So when the user bring the handphone to the office, to the home, it's automatically switched uh, to your, your home fixed fi fix line, uh, also your wi Wi-Fi or whatever local water success rather than using the cellular mobile networks, which is the efficiency is very low. So then in this way, we converge the fixed wireless mobile together, then we can increase the spectrum. So this is solution tell you very simple solution how to implement it, how to do that. It's very simple. You don't have to, you don't have to change any existing infrastructure. You don't have to change any uh, networks there. You just put a very small table in the in the MSC mobile switching center, which you uh, where you reg register your user's account. So, so uh, you put a very small table in the MSC mobile switching center or gateway, and then any incoming call come to the gateway, then they can uh, they can they can converge that whether whether is uh, you are in the home in the office you're using the Wi-Fi or fixed line or whatever converge together. So then the user when the user back to the office home there they can they can disconnect the the uh, actually uh, they can release. Uh, the cellular 3G, like AT&T network or whatever to anybody else, then they can connect it by the local Wi-Fi or fixed line uh, 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 other local wireless access technologies. So then you can increase the spectrum uh, efficiency at least for 50%. So that's the most very, very important. I mean, this technology right now is being widely used in, in many, many uh, network provider vendors and this, this technology has been licensed to many companies in the Silicon Valley. So that's a very simple way to converge the multiple network access in one mobile device. And uh, uh, we just give you an example. And this is the ICANN system architecture, for example. We're using OW baseband technology to provide a 4G smartphone. And uh, you, you, if you look at it, we can support multiple wireless standards. And uh, each standard is open architecture based. So you, if you do not use it, just plug out. So that's called open architecture. And if you if you back to the soft uh, go to software reference platform in the physical layer, we can su support a, a, a multiple wireless standards by different uh, just different parameters. The platform is still same. Uh, when you change the standard, you just change the SIM card. You never change the device. So this OW hardware reference to architecture, and then you have in the Mac layer we have OW Kono and also OW baseball driver components, including OW standard SIM card mod uh, SIM card modules. Then you can bring different standards, different access. You can dynamically manage the radio resource uh, and, and then you have application OS you can support multiple OS you can bring the different OS you can using this application with a different OS portable to the other uh, 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 OS platform so that's very easy and it, again it's open architecture if you do not use it just plug out so that's open architecture and then if you look at the user similarly the openness and sim uh, simplicity uh, you have home and the office you're supposed to have wi-fi wireline there and on, on a street you have a mobile so gsm 3 network there then we converge together by OWA. we have one device one number one dream that's all basically the 4g technology 4g smartphone technology for the future including iphone iHand, blackberry and the palm nokia samsung i mean all the major vendors go this way so that's all my presentation for more uh, uh, last one uh, uh, we have OWA uh, modem all the modem is a very important issue. Put it in home, as I said, you can move your fixed wire, uh, uh, mobile wireless. When you come to home, you release the source, you release the cellular network resource, and you connect to the OW modem. So you can save a lot of, you can converge, uh, save a lot of spectrum, you converge together. That's basically the 4G uh, technology uh, for, for the next generation smartphone. Uh, and focus, I mean, I'm focused on the 4G iPhone and the 4G iHand, 4G Blackberry. That's all my presentations there. And uh, for any question, just go to online and you have detailed reports on online. You can order online. Thank, thank you very much.